Hey, so let's see how you can use Open Copilot to create AI Copilots for your own product to enable your users to chat with the product features and functionalities and execute things on your product just by text. For that, I created this simple web shop. It's a traditional SaaS web shop dashboard where the user can see general statistics, they can manage discounts, they can create them or delete them, and they also can send email campaigns. Now, if the user want to do anything in this web shop, they had to do it in the traditional way. They need to click around, they need to crunch some numbers if they want to see how, how good or bad their shop is doing. But now let's see how we can make this experience 100 times better by integrating an AI Copilot for this product. For that, we can go to Open Copilot dashboard, we can click on Create a Copilot. In order for your Copilot to communicate with your web shop or with your backend system, we need to define ABI actions or ABI endpoints. In the previous example, we have an ABI endpoint to list all the source statistics, another one to list all the discounts or to create a discount and another one to draft an email campaign. Now, before that, let's give our Copilot a name and let's define these actions. To define these actions, you can either do it manually by providing a name for this action, a description, the ABI endpoint, um, and some uh, other parameters, or you can use Swagger file to import them at once. And this is what exactly I will do. So I already have the Swagger file here, so I will drop it here and I will import it. Awesome. So now we have our dummy server uh, with all the in ABI endpoints to manage that uh, web shop store. I will click on next and I will open my copilot. It's now ready. Basically, I can just copy this uh, code snippet and put it into my web shop and the copilot widget will show up somewhere here or I can just test it quickly from here and then integrate it. And this is what we will do. So let's start with a simple uh, hey. Okay, so now let's start with the product functionality. I would like to ask the copilot what is my least sold products and take one of them, probably the least sold one, and put it in 20% discount and then send a fancy email campaign for all of my users. So let's start by asking what is my least sold products right now. What will happen that the copilot will go to the backing system based on the actions and bring all of these least sold products. And we have now three least sold products. And the Copilot also says that these have relatively low sales compared to top selling products like Ultra Comfort Shoes, Smart Watches, Series 5, and the Propland Mixer. Now, let's ask the Copilot put the least sold one on 20% um, sale, for example. Cool. So now we have the Kitchen Master 3000 Blender on sales, and it's now available on a discounted price. Let's come up with um, a nice, come up with a, a nice um, email, oh no, not email, let's say nice marketing uh, content about this great product and deal. Use some emojis. So now we have this fancy email. It says like introducing the Super Blend 3000 Blender, and it, it's actually writing a, like marketing content uh, for you about this product, specifically this product and the product features and everything. Now let's send this product um, uh, content to uh, our newsletter. Cool. Um, send it. Send it as an email to our uh, newsletter. Awesome. So the email campaign was sent successfully and that's it. And, and the interaction now with the product is much, much simpler. Uh, the user now actually chat with your product, ask the copilot for recommendations, suggestions, help, um, uh, support, and then uh, ask the copilot to action based on that uh, by sending emails and managing the entire shop. Uh, and actually you can tailor that to your own product features and functionalities. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will only work on that particular uh, shop. Now, let's say that the users ask this question a lot where they want to get the least sell sold product and then put it into discount and send it to uh, the newsletter. And let's say they, they want to do it in one go. 
here's the flows come really, really handy. So if we go to the flows feature and we created a new flow, let's give this flow a, t a title. Uh, so for example, um, um, get the least sold product and uh, send it to the news letter. The description is super important. So what, what I will say here, get the least, sorry, product now I, I will create this flow and now we have all the actions here and I can either create the flow by myself or I can use the AI so I will for example drag and drop things here but I don't want to do that so I will ask the AI to build it based on the description that I gave it which is get the least sold products from the store and stats and sit and put it into a 20% discount I will remove the 20% discount I will leave it for the user to decide how much is the discount so I will create it here and now it's creating my flow by itself and basically yeah it did it so basically it will get the store statistics first uh, put a product on sales and send an email campaign i will store this one here and now if i go to the copilot one more time i can actually ask the copilot to do it in one go hey uh, yes the least sold product a nice, um, a nice email with yeah, discount and send it what will happen now, it will actually execute the flow because it knows that there is a flow defined for this and it will go ahead and uh, uh, do it uh, and send it for the users. It done all of that in one 